What is going on, my everythings? It is your girl, Jenny Quay, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you. And I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. Y'all, happy Saturday. What y'all doing? All right, we're about to tap in and see what you should be expecting for today. All right, what you should be looking forward to for this up and coming week. All right, so let's see what your mood is like. Archangel Michael and a leg walk, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as we tap in to the most important messages, right? Surrounds my everything's energy. Okay. All right. If you believe, so you're believing in something. All right. Something is requiring your faith, your hope. All right. If you believe. All right, take action. So right now, something is requiring you to take action. Take a, make a bold choice and moving forward, even if things don't seem right. Um, this situation is requiring, requiring you to get excited about something that is yours already but you might can't see it yet all right take action look for a sign all right so there's a lot of signs and synchronicities that is around you guys today where it's going to be motivating you guys to take action all right listen to your intuition because you believe in something and if god puts something in your heart as a dream idea or anything all right it's meant for you to carry out all right so look for signs there's gonna be a lot of signs today this reading might be one of them Because something is going to strike. All right. Take action. All right. There's a shooting star already coming your way. All right. This could be overnight. All right. This could be overnight success. This could be overnight progress. This could be a rough change where take action now. All right. Do what you got to do now. Don't worry about your bank account. Don't worry about what you don't have because obviously you have everything you need. All right, to move forward because something is coming to you. All right. And with this looking for a sign, all right, this is going to be a shocking turn of events. I'm getting Uranus energy. All right. So prepare y'all. Get ready. All right. Get ready for that big one because it's here. And it's looking like something is going to happen overnight. Or when it's raining. Like a thunderstorm. All right, look, y'all, something that you was building probably paused and now it's back in motion. All right, whether you needed new people, all right, new motivation, new tools, new talents, all right, new equipment, all right, new resources is here. It's here. And see, what you looking at is this. You looking like, oh, it's not done yet. Or let me tell you, take action, keep building because the money that you're waiting for, the people, the resources that one needs to build such an empire, all right, is right here. Keep believing in whatever it is you're building right now because it's working. Something is in the works. I'm telling y'all, this shit is going to happen overnight. With everything you needed, is going to be right there, ready for you to go. And that's why you need to take action and not worry about the incompletion. Not worry about the corrections that you have made and are making. All right? Some of you guys could like construction. All right, the hacker.
<laughs> yeah, well, you got somebody that has great technology skills. All right, power. Okay, this is the four of pentacles. So it went up. You see, y'all, you needed to be a master at technology. All right, I'm talking about editing or you learning how to upload. You needed to be a master at technology. All right, you needed to be able to be at multiple places at one time. All right, you needed to gain um, trust in people. You needed to scout out and figure out what talents you need that was going to help you build this empire. All right, so with this page of Swords Energy, you need you are you are a master at computers. I'm hearing all these social networks and these computers got these niggas walking around like they some shooters. <laughs> Alright. See them in real like they're trying to bust maneuvers. Pussy took the same shit from your computer. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, my son Bobby Schmurda. Alright. Like took that same shit from your computer because in real life. All right, what I was working on is what my everything's is saying. I have built, all right, from the bottom up. Okay, sweat, tears, all right, hard work. All right, it went from the three to the four. All right, this is a strong ass empire that you built. This is a strong ass project that you've been working on and legacy. All right, this shit important. You hear me? This shit, you're going to be on billboards. You Whatever it is that you are building as far as your career, all right? This shit is going mainstream, all right? The money, the power, and the respect that you have from building this, all right? And, and, and really believing. If you believe that this shit, you know, a lot of people stop at this. You know, the three of pentacles is... Something might have happened. You know, a lot of people might have quit on you. Or just something have probably wasn't successful. You probably had to go back to the drawing board. But does that cancel out everything you built? No. And people don't be thinking like that. So they so they allow the spirit of fear to 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 to, to um overtake them. All right. And they get scared. They stop believing in themselves. All right, there's so much negative thoughts now instead of inspiring ones and motivating ones. All right, let me tell you. The actions that you are taking because you can't see something, but you know it's yours, all right, has built an empire. All right, has built an empire. You have, you have made it beyond a current point in your success where... You really wasn't unsure how things was going to go. Something happened and threw you off course suddenly. Where you had to just look for a sign from God. Keep looking, looking for a sign from God. Like everything is in motion. Alright, people stop. You didn't stop. Alright, you continue to take action. Alright. You like, say, alright, say if you're moving. Alright. And you know... Everything is good, right? But you you waiting for a sign, all right? That maybe you waiting for your key, maybe you waiting for that letter. But you know you've been accepted, or you know you've been approved for that house, right? So instead of you getting scared, like damn, I know I put in the work, I know I've been building, I know I've been working on myself, I know I've been working on my foundation. Where the shit is at? Instead of you being scared, all right, you continue to build. All right, instead of allowing worry to overtake you, all right, you invested that emotion and that energy into something else. And this is your career. All right, this is your pinnacle. All right, this is your stability and what's making you secure in life. You hear me? This took grind. This took talent. This took figuring out where your talent was. This took teamwork. You hear me? You had to find, thank you, spirit. You had to find the right team to build this. All right. It wasn't that your dream. 
and his goal to build this empire was not impossible because it is. It's always impossible until somebody do it. And it had to take the right team. It had to take like-minded people. It had to take people that is confident in what they're adding to a certain career or a or, or thing. All right? To remove jealousy. All right? Everyone working on a better and on a common goal. All right? And that's to build this empire strong. All right? That take a lot of work. That's not easy. So the delays. All right? The setbacks was only for you the rejections that was god protection because what you have built is an empire very powerful position all right and everybody that works in that empire will be powerful all right i'm hearing you about that action a lot of you guys went on a hunt a lot of you guys started to use the computer a lot of you guys started to try to um you know make new friends meet new resourceful people all right that goes with, you know, humbleness. That goes with allowing new information. And that goes with being open to assistance from the right people. That's being open to new knowledge in different ways to carry out things. All right? So you, that's what you did. You started to be on a hunt. It's like interviewing. All right? Y'all running a real big business here. Whether it's like this right now, let me tell you the outcome and the results, all right, of this hard work and of this teamwork and the time that was invested into building the right team, all right, very powerful, look, very strong and stable, all right, maybe y'all needed to slim it down, maybe uh, things needed to be altered, maybe there was cracks a little in the foundation, all right, don't even gotta be nothing big, but when you build in something, look how tall that is. Look how tall your empire is. That shit is like, I'm getting jack in a beanstalk. It's like God done gave you a plan and you took that one seed and you wasn't sure. Right? Jack in a bean, Jack, you know, he, he didn't know. He, he just got the seed. He planted the seed and he never questioned that. And let me tell you, when that when Jack, I think, woke up the next morning, all right, that motherfucking sea t was high as the fucking clouds, as the heavens. It was as tall as the heavens. Your empire, the reason why it took a little longer, the reason why you needed to practice certain things and to build more strength was because this empire is as tall as the fucking heavens. Just from one seed, just from one idea, just from one dream, just from one thought, just from one inspiration, you took that and you did that, Jack and a fucking beanstalk. All right, you can't believe it. That's what Jack and a beanstalk. You let me, bitch. You know I'm getting up my motherfucking computer. <laughs> All right, this is intermission and Saturday service. Get y'all drinks. All right, get whatever it is that y'all need. Right now. Okay. I think y'all need to um need to hear the spiritual message. Alright, about Jack and the beanstalk, bitch. Alright, this is a Jack and the Beanstalk. Alright? God gave you a dream. God didn't say you was you needed to do it by yourself. God said take action. Alright, and when you take action, I'ma follow suit with the people. All right, I'ma just bring people on your path. As long as I see you taking action, so say if you want a job and you know, you not settling, you, you keep filling out, you keep applying yourself, all right? Say if you wanted that house, you keep applying yourself, you keep applying yourself, all right? When you take that right action, all right, God gonna align people out of nowhere. God gonna put you somewhere at the right place at the right time, all right? But you got to believe in that seed. I'm talking about with the conviction that Jack did. With that beanstalk. All right, that fucking seed, that bean fucking coffee villages. You hear me? That shit was tall as the heavens. Y'all, hold on. I'm coming right now.
Hold on, I'm coming, y'all. I found it. All right, so overall, Jack and the Beanstalk is a fairy tale that includes a magical element, such as giant magic beans and a goose that lays golden eggs, all right? So some say that the story has a spiritual meaning with the Beanstalk representing the bridge between you know, boyhood and manhood, or, you know, girlhood and womanhood, and the mystic tree representing a path to heaven. So right now, y'all unstoppable. You know, I'm seeing an entrepreneur. I'm seeing a legacy here. I'm seeing an uh, owner of a very powerful empire, you know, with a lot of successful people running it also, all right? Um, and I see y'all mended that bridge between what y'all can do and what y'all can't do. And half of the time, a lot of it was believing. It wasn't the money. Once you believe, the money magically appears. All right, now let me keep going. Hold on. Hold on. All right, also, Jack represents men, us. The cow represents the man's inheritance. All right, the magic beans represents the seeds of God or hope of new life and promise of salvation from the mundane world. So with the seeds that you had, whatever idea that you was building, all right, that needed the right people, you know, teamwork, make the dream work. All right, that seed, all right, was the seeds of God, all right, and that was new life. All right, and it was promised if you believed and if you worked on it and if you didn't give up, all right, on those dreams. All right, it was promised. All right, it was confirmed that if you believed, all right, that was your salvation. That was the gold mine. That was going to free you from poverty. That was going to free your kids from poverty. That was going to free their kids from poverty. And then as a, that's how you make the stop of ending a repetitive pattern. All right, but you have to apply yourself. How the fuck you gonna do that if you don't learn, if you don't research? That's why I'm always pulling out my motherfucking computer. It's my thirst for knowledge. It's my thirst to correct myself if I'm wrong before I tell y'all shit. This is a symbolism. That you going through of Jack and the Beanstalk and how you had faith in that fucking bean. How you knew that those things was magical. All right? How you believe. So let me keep going. Let me read that again. So Jack is us. All right? The cow represents the, our inheritance. And the magic beans represents the seeds of God and hope of new life. And the promise. Big, big word. The promise. Consider yourself saved the promise of salvation, all right, from this crazy ass world, all right, and the bee stock is what comes of that seed, all right, which represents a way into the sky or heaven, meaning pulling fucking heaven on earth. Meaning ain't no other way I expect heaven on earth. But the only way I could do that is if I believe in myself, build an empire, so that way I can feed the masses and be in a position of power and be able to give out opportunities, be able to create solutions, being able to, you know, um, hire. But how the fuck you gonna do that if you not realizing what seeds God gave you? All right? And remember, that shit happened overnight. All right, one more thing. All right, the message you could take from Jack, another message is the moral, right, for Jack and the beast stock would be make the best of a bad situation. All right, and when opportunities not, take advantage of it. So I forgot, I haven't read that in a long time. I forgot what happened that made Jack have to have faith or may Jack turn a bad situation to his best to, to good. All right. And that's believing it's not about money. 
All right, once you believe that it's yours, all right, I'm telling you, you'll you will be walking. And somebody miraculously will be bumping into you with the right contact. You will just be at the right place at the right time. So this is a case of Jack and the Beanstalk that is manifesting through y'all. And let me tell you, the, the, the bean has grew. The bean has grew. So with that position, all right, you can feed the masses, all right? You can feed them with healing. You can feed them with wisdom. You can feed them with motivation because you went through the experience instead of just talking. So this is a case of Jack and the Beanstalk. All right? The power. is money, power, and respect. But I feel like the respect should be at the top. All right? Then the money, then the power. Because if you have money, but you don't have the respect of others... All right, you're not going to be in a position of power. You're just going to be a cornball with money or somebody titleless with money. All right, so it was the a way you applied yourself on that computer. All right, it was the way you questioned certain things and you Googled. Everybody can fucking Google. You hear me? Everybody got a motherfucking phone. All right, and the way you're utilizing technology, the way you're using that phone, oh, baby, it done grew an empire. All right, there's no excuses. There's no excuses no more why everybody not out here thirsty for knowledge. All right, you got to question every fucking thing until you, you, you have the discernment and feel like that is honest and that is true. All right, but until then, you trust me, when you be led to research something, you will go down the rabbit hole of a lot of other information. But first, you got to take action. If God is telling you to research a word, if there is a word that pop up in your mind that don't make no fucking sense, try to spell that shit. Try to sound it out, spell it, um, type it in and see what the fuck that mean in like Hebrew or something. I bet you when you start doing shit like that, you will be researching on fucking line for hours the right way. All right. You will be prioritizing your time. All right. And feeding your brain the right way. All right. You would rather be researching for hours, all right, hacking in to the fucking truth, all right, than to be online just on social media after the fucking food. All right, so this is Jack and a Beanstalk. All right, done turned a bad situation to good. All right, and that's why I said this is sudden abrupt change. Look for a sign this week. Look for a sign today that that shit, that by Monday, that beanstalk going to be right there. And it's going to manifest in a lot of y'all lives differently. But I'm going to tell you, look, the universe, bitch. That's the beanstalk, bitch. You climbing a beanstalk. And you know how my ancestors speak metaphorically. So take it how y'all, you know, put it in your life how I'm speaking. Like, change it up, you know. This is y'all. This is a reef. All right, you are climbing. And remember when Jack was climbing? All right, this is the gateway. This is the portal. All right, you have bridged the portal between heaven and earth to where anytime you want to bring forth heaven on earth, if you're going through a bad situation, you got access. You have access. All right, a lot of people don't know how to change a bad situation to good, all right? They don't know because a lot of them didn't believe, they they, they got, it, it has a lot to do with the mind. But fuck all that, you in the universe, you connected with the universe, you are on top of the world, you are ascending. Consider your conscience and your vibration raised. All right, consider all right, there's a bean turning to a motherfucking beanstalk. All right, putting everybody in power. All right, that is working with you. Teamwork makes the dream works, and everybody considered a team member, a team player to you. Oh, is in a position of power. Everybody. All right, this is the right sources, right connections. All right, y'all, y'all climbing. All right, y'all like, oh, let me see. All right, and again, the only way you're gonna really not be triggered. If somebody is saying heaven can be now while, while having a world in a frenzy like this is if you have access, all right, to the portals between worlds. This is you saying, all right, I'm going to have a bad day. All right, no. This is saying like I'm having a bad day. But 
I got access to the heavens. I got access to my resources. I got access to my blessings. I got access to my angels. So you know what? I'm going to do something that is going to allow me, you know, and you magical. So that could be anything. That could be a ritual. That could be prayer. That could be anything. You like, all right, I can turn this around because you know that every day is not going to be good. But when every day is not good, that's when you turn to something spiritual. And in this case, because you got the universe on your side, because it is a gift to the world that you're serving right now, all right, that the universe conspired on your behalf, all right, you got access to the heavens. So if I woke up today, what bad day? If I could breathe, what bad day? All right. If I got cable, that's a privilege. What bad day? If I got any type of money, that's a privilege. What bad day? All right. If I see, if I can see life, if I could breathe, what bad day? All right. You are a portal between worlds right now because of how you're dealing with life, how you allowing the universe, all right, to give, to provide, but you got to apply yourself. All right. So this is a case of Jack and the Beast up. All right, a case of Jack and a Beanstalk, y'all. So, Spirit, what is the closing out messages for my everything? Because this is pretty clear. Look, don't this look like a magical house? Don't this look like that fucking house where the, where the Beanstalk grew out? This is the house. So, at the end of the Beanstalk, waiting for you is a house. Or at the Beanstalk, it's a, it's a very very strong foundation for some of you guys the gift that's going to be right there at the end when you when, when you keep climbing so you climb into it you like oh shit this shit grew how far is this shit growing and spirit is saying well here a house here a foundation here's something this could be anything but if a lot of guys gonna be a house but it's gonna be like the ace of pentacles y'all get ready Get ready. This is a case of Jack and a Beanstalk. All right. Because you have faith. All right. And because you believed. All right. So much in your heart that the seeds that God gave you was going to build that empire, was going to build that Beanstalk to the heavens. All right. Past the fucking sky. Who says sky is the limit? Sky ain't the limit over here. Who said that? All right. This is past the fucking firmament. All right, this is past, imagine, so you imagine a firmament. You know, they say that we can't leave here, but imagine you have an access to the firmament whenever you want, all right, be going beyond that, grab it all, because, you know, our blessings is in the unknown. So your, 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 your ability, feminine energy, all right, being, being a portal between worlds, all right, accessing them shits. You hear me? This is a, this is a whole nother level type of manifestation. All right, you're talking about physics. You're talking about using elements. Here we go. The four. It's something about four. All right. You get, uh, it's three, four, four right here. All right. That could be your angel number. So that's what I have. Y'all, this weekend, the rest of this weekend, and this week, expect for something that was was in the works, all right? Literally going from boom power, all right? Boom respect, boom money, all right? Shit grown because of your faith, all right? Because you still took action. I'm telling you, it's something about overnight. It's something about dreams. It's something about good news, all right? So, because, again, turning a bad situation into good, having access all right, to the motherfucking heavens again. All right, yeah, your yeah, blessings and your generational wealth is no longer, you know, um, locked in a box. You have access to it whenever you want. That's the world card. All right, so I love you guys and I hope to help.